foot of perpendicular and distance from origin to plane. Question here is, find the coordinates of the foot of perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane pi 1, 2x minus 3y plus 4z minus 6 equals to 0. Then find the distance of the plane from the origin. So let's try to sketch this and understand the situation. Let us say this is our R3 space. And we have a plane here, which is kind of, let me just draw a plane here. Kind of like this, right? So what we're trying to figure out here is distance from origin, right? So let's say, so this is the origin point. And let's say we want to find the distance from the origin. So that has to be normal to this plane, right? So it could be like going like this. Right. So that is this point here is foot of the perpendicular. Now, as you can see, this line should be normal to the plane so that we get the shortest distance from origin to the plane. Right. So that is kind of concept. So this is our plane pi one. And in this plane, we want to find what this point P is. Where the normal to the plane goes through the origin, right? And so we can find the shortest distance. So find the coordinates of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane. So, so this line has to be normal to the plane, right? Then find the distance of the plane from the origin. So then this plane, we need to find distance from O to P. So once we find P, the point which is the foot of the perpendicular, then we will be in a position to find the distance also. Now how to find P? That is the question. Now one thing is very apparent from here and that is that point P lies along the normal to the plane, right? So what is the normal to the plane? Normal to the plane pi 1 is given to us as 2 minus 3, 4. So that is the normal to the plane. Now, if we consider a unit vector around the normal of the plane, we know that OP will be on the unit vector along the normal, right? So the unit vector we can find as an unit vector will be normal divided by the magnitude of normal, right? So that means we have here 2 minus 3, 4. And in the denominator, we can divide by 2 square plus minus 3 square plus 4 square square root, right? Now that gives us as unit vector, we can write here unit vector will be equals to 2 square is 4 and then we have this as 9. So it, it is basically, let me just complete this here. So 2 minus 3 and 4 and this 2 square is 4. Let me write here 4 plus 9 plus 16, right? Now 16 plus 4 is 20 and times plus 9 is 29. So we get 29 square root, correct? So we get here a unit vector as 1 over square root of 29 of 2 minus 3, 4. So this is the unit vector along OP, right? So we have got that much. Now what is the equation of the line? Any coordinate on this point can be represented now, the for, for the line OP, now if you consider the line OP, then for line OP, what do we have? OP is a line which goes through origin. So, we say 0, 0, 0. And the direction is along this unit vector. Do you see that? So, it is plus K times this unit vector, which we can write this as 1 over square root of 29 and within bracket 2, minus 3 and 4. Since that is the direction, m for the line right so since we know m for the line is is along op right so L, and which is unit vector so m is 1 over 29 square root of 2 minus 3 and 4 so that becomes the line op now to find the coordinates of point p any point general point on this line 
should actually lie on the plane, right? So what we can do is we can substitute these x, y, z points, right, on the equation of the plane and then find find the value of k, correct? So in general, a point on this line OP will be x coordinate will be 2 over square root of 29 times k, right? The y coordinates will be plus 0, right? So here we can write our x will be k over square root 29 times 2, right? Rather, I should have written 2. And y will be equals to uh, minus 3k over square root 29. And z will be equals to 4k over square root of 29. So that is, in general, any coordinate. So this could be the coordinate point for p, right? So in general, we can write p. It could be a point which is represented by this, that is 2k over square root of 29 or minus 3k for y value, square root of 29 or 4k over square root of 29, right? So that becomes point p. Now basically we need to now find the k value, right? Then we can find out what the point is. Now, since this point is also on the plane pi 1, it should satisfy the equation for the plane also, right? Therefore, we can substitute this point P in the equation and then calculate what K is, correct? So, the equation is 2 times x value is 2K over square root of 29 minus 3 times y value is minus 3K over square root of 29 plus 4 times z value is 4k over square root of 29 and we can take 6 on the other side so we get equals to 6 right so that is that is the equation now if you solve this equation you can find the value of k now from here 2 times 2 is 4k so we get 4k here minus and minus becomes plus so we get plus 9k 4 times 4 is 16 16k over the plus sign here equals to 6 times square root of 29 correct so that is what you get now you can combine these terms 4 plus 9 is 13 and 13 plus 16 is 29 so we get we get 29 K equals to 6 times square root of 29 so we get the cal value of K as 6 over square root of 29 correct so that is the value of k right so what we did here was we just move from here to here right and then follow this way so we got the value of k now with this value of k plugged into this point we can find what point p is right so you get the foot of the perpendicular right so therefore we can say from here what is the value of p so let me write down the value of p in a different ink right so let's say p will be used. So basically I'll substitute the value of k here to write down the value of p. And so we get, we get point p as. So if I substitute k as 6 over square root of 29, then the denominator will be 29 square root times 29 square root, which will give me 29 in the denominator. So basically I'll multiply all the numerators by 6, right? So I'll get 6 times 2 is 12. So I get 12 over square root of 29. That is the x value. The y value will be minus 18 over square root of 29. So now square root 29, I should have written just 29, 29, because k is 6 over 29. And the z value will be 6 times 4, 24 over 29, right? So these are my values for the point P, right? So now I got the values for point P, which is 12 over 29 minus 18 over 29 and 24 over 29 so those are the coordinate points for point p now to find the distance you can use the distance formula with a square plus b square plus c square square root and find the distance right so i'll leave that calculation for you so basically distance will be distance will be equals to square root of their squares right which is 12 over 29 whole square plus I mean, I'll just complete it, but I'll leave the calculations for you. Minus 18 over 29 whole square plus 24 over 29 whole square. 
So that will be the distance from origin to the point, right? I hope that is clear to you. Now let's summarize how we did this question. The question was to find the coordinates of foot of perpendicular drawn from the origin to the plane pi 1. So this is the origin, that's the plane pi 1. So we are interested in finding the point P which lies on the perpendicular and the line joining O and P is perpendicular to the plane. That is what the question is, part 1. And the second part is find the distance OP, right? Now, as you know, this is given in the scalar form. So therefore, the normal to the plane is 2, minus 3, and 4. And this normal to the plane is the direction vector for the line, right? So we use direction vector of the line. So instead of using, uh, we use a unit direction vector along the line, right? So with that, we can write our equation in terms of unit direction vector. So magnitude of this normal is square root of 29. We divided that and so we got a unit vector in the direction OP. Equation of the line will be a point and direction vector. So this point is the origin, k times any parameter you can choose, the direction vector, right? Now that means that in general, x point will be 2 over square root of 29, y will be minus 3 over square root of 29, and k will be 4 over 29, all multiplied by the parameter k, right? So all those different values of k, where k belongs to, in this case, in this case, I should write here, k belongs to, k belongs to real numbers, right? So k belongs to real numbers. Now, so that represents infinite points on your line, right? Now for one particular value of k, this point will lie on the plane, since this line is going to intersect plane at one point only, right? So we need to find that particular value of k. For that, we can substitute general point in the equation of the plane and solve for k. So when we solve for k, we got the value of k from the solution as 6 square root 29, correct? So that's the value of k. So 6 over square root 29. So, so we solve this value and that is the value of k which we got, right? Now, you can substitute this value of k in general equation for general point on the line. So you get point as 12 over 29, minus 18 over 29, and 24 over 29 as x, y, z coordinates, right? So, so those are the points. So that is one part of the question. So that is, this is the point we are interested in. So that is one part of the question. And second part is, find the distance of the plane from origin. So distance is, since it is origin, 0, 0. So this minus 0, that minus 0, this minus 0, whole square, right? Each squares distance formula give you the distance. So that is the next part of the question, right? So that is how you can solve this question. I hope it's clear to you, right? I'm sorry it being, we are running short of space and don't really want to go beyond half a page. So I've given you a good hint at least how to solve this kind of problem. That should help you to understand and solve it on your own, okay? So do the exercise on your own and see if you get uh, some answer which is similar to this, right? I'm leaving the final calculations for you to do. Thank you.